So you're looking at buying the Ergo Neo or Ergo Neo Hi-Fi and you want to know what the app is like? We're going to find out today. So this is the second iteration of the app for the Ergo Neo uh, and now the Ergo Neo Hi-Fi. And the first one was abysmal. It was very limited. You know, there was only a few things that you could do with it, but they've made great enhancements in the product. Is it perfect? No. Um, is it good? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. But we're gonna go through the app. I'm gonna show you all the features of it, uh, but I'm also going to give my recommendations of if I were Ergo, what I would do to uh, make the changes to, to make it just that much more better and make for a better customer experience. And then uh, once I get done with that, uh, we'll come back for some final thoughts. Okay, so here's the app interface when you open it up. Pretty simplistic. It has the uh, device showing that it is connected. If I hit this, it's going to uh, circle until it finds it. Of course, it did find uh, the device, so we are connected to it. Uh, now, going from the bottom, you have the menus, and the menus are pretty simple. Frequently asked questions, how-to videos, user guide. You can go to the Ergo store, you can do a tour of the app, which is really kind of unnecessary. And then of course, connect to a charger and uh, the about information. So we close that out and we really get into, let's go into contact really quick so we can just get that out of the way. Contact is pretty simple. Gives you the ability to either email or call Ergo uh, directly from the app, which is a nice touch uh, for you to get uh, in contact with them should you need them, uh, perhaps for uh, an audiologist for help or whatnot. But this is the most significant part of it, programs. So when you go into programs, you have the ability to go through and do customizations uh, on bass and treble, and then you can edit uh, different program settings uh, for certain or specific listening environments. Uh, and then that brings you into the main programming page. Now this is how I have mine set up. I had worked with an audiologist at first and went through to set things up initially and then they came out with this iteration of the app which really changed things for me. And what it does is it gives you the ability to go in, let's say we want to change program one. Uh, it gives you some preset or pre-configured uh, situations like restaurant, phone, crowd, TV, meeting, theater, etc. Uh, you can also even uh, set it on mute. Um, so it's, it's really cool that you can go through and you can set these. We go into program two, I have it set for phone. Program three, I went with uh, the preset D, which was something that I had already uh, worked with and then I made adjustments and then uh, program four is for crowd. Uh, what that really does is take out uh, some of the highs uh, and levels the sound out just a little bit more to make it easier to discern uh, certain sounds like particular people's voices. So they've really done a phenomenal job with this. But what you can also do is you can also turn on or off particular uh, programs. So if you only want uh, two or three programs, you have that capability of doing it. But here's where it gets interesting. When you try to press the bass and treble, you have the capability of doing adjustments for either both or you can do them individually for each left or right. Now here's the first thing I would say that uh, really kind of drives me nuts about this. There's really only three different settings that you can use. For example, I can boost treble all the way, I can bring it to the middle, or I can bring it all the way down. I think that if Ergo was really on top of things with this, they would have at least made quarter settings, if not eight different settings so that you could truly fine tune based off of your hearing. But 
this is certainly something that I'm not, not discounting. I think they've done a great job of putting these things together and giving you this capability. Um, the only other thing that this app doesn't have, and of course you can go through and, and you can edit and do all kinds of things. You can edit programs, you can revert back. But when we go back to the main screen, uh, you know, one of the things that I think that they should really be paying attention to or something that they should integrate into this app, and I would probably put it into the menu system over here, is the ability to essentially set up an alert. So let's say you go to put your Ergo Neos or Neo Hi-Fis back into the case and you plug it in and you kind of drop it down and one of your uh, ear goes kind of dislodges a little bit from its connection. Well, typically speaking, you don't know until the morning. So if I were Ergo, then basically what I would do is put some form of configuration in here maybe set up certain time frames like only in the evening between 7 p.m. and 1 a.m. Uh, or or what have you that when you put your ear goes back into the case if they don't fully seat then it sends an alert to the app which ultimately sends an alert to your phone uh, you know if you have an Apple watch it sends it to that as well so that at least you know that it didn't make proper contact and that you need to address it that way it gets charged again other than that this is a spectacular uh, second iteration and we're gonna go into some final thoughts okay so overall Ergo has done, as you've seen, a great job with the app as far as making some adjustments, the ability to go through and create the different settings uh, so that you can use your Ergos a little bit better in different situations. I think that they've really, really made leaps and bounds as far as that's concerned. They're giving more control to us as users. Um, as opposed to them having the tighter controls that they have with their audiologists. Now, I, I think their audiologists are great, but there are times you want to make certain uh, tweaks uh, to the app. You know, if there's different changes in your environment, let's say you move houses or you change jobs, and so uh, the sound is different in you know these different environments. You want to be able to make those adjustments and, and tune it yourself. I think they've done a phenomenal job with that. I'm really looking forward to the next iterations and enhancements that they're going to be bringing. And when they do, I will certainly uh, be doing update videos as well. And if you like this content, if you like to know about hearing technologies from a user perspective or other various technologies or you know sometimes even random reviews, uh, please don't forget to subscribe. Uh, also hit the like, feel free to drop a comment in the, uh, in the comments below, and I'll see you again soon.